it's a multi-center cohort analysis right, of different regimens used in the frontline setting in acute promocytic leukemia across Asia. We actually analyzed 666 patients with APL over the last 10 years over, over various centers in Hong Kong, um, in Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, and also Taiwan. And uh, we actually, there were key uh, observations, right? We actually observed that oral arsenic trioxide-based regimens, um, as well as intravenous arsenic trioxide-based regimens, improved uh, the 60-day survival. That is, they would have lower chances of early deaths during induction, or lower chances of induction mortality. So that's one thing. And secondly, as far as over survival and relapse free survival, as well as post 60 day survival is concerned, the oral arsenic trioxide based regimen had superior results compared to intravenous arsenic trioxide based regimen or atra chemotherapy based regimen. So, this is actually the first study that compared pure oral arsenic trioxide that's uh, invented and formulated in Hong Kong versus intravenous arsenic trioxide, the triacinox, versus atra chemotherapy. It's a first comparative analysis uh, in the real world setting, which proved that oral arsenic trioxide based regimens improve patient outcomes in terms of reduction in early deaths, reduction in relapses, as well as improvement in the overall survivals. So that's the key message. So the key thing I want to highlight would be for the APL studies, the two APL studies, uh, the key unmet need in patients around the world all right, would be access to uh, uh, intravenous arsenic trioxide. That actually cost is a major concern, and especially in the developing world in Asia, all right, it's not reimbursed. So oral arsenic trioxide provides a, an affordable option for our patients, which is uh, as good or even better than the intravenous formulation. So the, this particular, these studies would actually pave the way for further studies that would help disseminate the use of oral arsenic trioxide across the globe. So that's a very important thing. And also in an outpatient setting.